Hi, I'm Greg Butler with Harrington Hoist. We received many questions about what is required for inspections. ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, and the Harrington Owner's Manual provide guidance on what is required for those inspections. The standards that we use are industry consensus standards. We're gonna focus on five standards, B30.2 for overhead and gantry cranes, top running, B30.10 for hooks, B3016 for overhead hoists, B3017 for underhung cranes and monorails, and B3021 for lever pullers. ASME gives us five inspections that are required. Those are initial inspection, pre-operation inspection, frequent inspection, periodic, and inspections for hoists that are not in regular service or infrequently used hoists. Initial inspection, B3021 tells us that when hoists are placed into service, all new, altered, or modified hoists shall be inspected per the frequent inspection requirements in paragraph 21-2.1.4. Frequent inspection requirements are simply visual and operational inspections to make sure there are no obvious signs of damage to the hoist. We're not going to get into all the requirements for frequent and periodic inspections in this video. B3016 2017 tells us that prior to initial use, all new, altered, or modified hoists shall be inspected by a designated person to ensure compliance with applicable provisions of this volume. So that's for new hoists, altered hoists, or hoists that are modified. That's our initial inspection when we first put it up. Pre-operation inspection is the inspection that the hoist operator is supposed to be doing at the start of each shift. B3021 tells us visual inspections performed before the first use of each shift with records not required. B3016 2017 tells us visual inspection with records not required performed before the first use of each shift. So before we can do frequent and periodic inspections, we have to determine what the service classification of the hoist is. ASME gives us three service classifications, normal, heavy, and severe. Normal service is defined as service that involves operation with randomly distributed loads within the rated load limit. Wait, what does randomly distributed loads mean? Well, I had to do some digging to find the information for this, but HST1 2017 the performance standard for electric chain hoists states that loads applied to the hoist are assumed to be evenly distributed within the rated load of the hoist in decreasing steps of 20% of the previous load value. Operation with random loads is considered on an equal time basis for operating time remaining after accounting for the time the hoist is operated at no load and with rated load. Randomly distributed loads will result in a mean effective load factor of 0.65, which is important, we'll see here when we get to the next slide. So back to our service classifications. Normal is defined as service that involves operation with randomly distributed loads within the rated load limit or uniform loads less than 65% of rated load for not more than 15% of the time for manual hoists or 25% of the time for powered hoists. Heavy service involves operation within the rated load limit that exceeds normal service. And severe service is either normal or heavy operation with abnormal operating conditions. Abnormal operating conditions are defined as environmental conditions that are unfavorable, harmful, or detrimental to the operation of the equipment, such as excessively high or low ambient temperatures, exposure to weather, corrosive fumes, dust or moisture-laden atmospheres, and hazardous locations. So hoists that are outside all the time, or, or essentially hoists that are in any environmental condition which can shorten the life of the hoist is going to put it into the severe service classification. Frequent inspections are B3021 states that they are a visual inspection with records not required. For hoists that fall in the normal service classification, we're going to do that on a monthly basis. 
hoisted fall in the heavy classification. We're going to do that on a weekly to monthly basis. And hoisted fall in the severe service classification will need a frequent inspection on a daily to weekly basis. B3016 requires visual examinations with records not required. For hoist in the normal service classification on a monthly basis, heavy, weekly, and severe daily. Periodic inspections are going to be documented inspections. B3021 tells us that periodic inspections are documented visual inspections to provide the basis for a continuing evaluation. An external coded mark is an acceptable identification in lieu of records. Hoists that fall in the normal service classification must have a periodic inspection annually. If they fall in the heavy classification, semi-annually or twice a year and severe service quarterly. B3016 requires a visual inspection with records of external conditions to provide the basis for a continuing evaluation. An external coded mark on the hoist is acceptable identification in lieu of records. And again, normal service yearly, heavy service semi-annually, severe service quarterly. Hoist not in regular service. So B3021 tells us that a hoist that's been idle for a period of one month or more, but less than one year, shall have a frequent inspection before being placed into service. A hoist that's been idle for a period of one year or more shall have a periodic inspection before it's placed into service. B3016 states that a hoist that is used infrequently and has been idle for a period of one month or more but less than one year shall have a frequent inspection before being placed into service, while a hoist that is used infrequently and has been idle for a period of one year or more shall have a periodic inspection before being placed into service. Now that we understand the requirements for when we have to do frequent and periodic inspections, the criteria for What's included in frequent and periodic inspections can be found in Section 5 of your Harrington Owner's Manual. These Owner's Manuals can be downloaded from our website, www.harringtonhoists.com. Thanks for watching.